Welcome back to WMBD This Morning. It's time for Ask the Doc. March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. Dr. Omar Kokar, gastroenterologist with OSF Healthcare, joins us now to tell us what to look out for. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. How are you? Great. Glad to have you here. So lots to get to. So first and foremost, what is colorectal cancer and are there any specific symptoms involved? Yeah, colon cancer is the second most common cancer in the United States. It's when there's a cancer that forms inside your colon or rectum. Uh, some of the warning signs are changing your bowel habits, changing the size, changing the frequency, changing the consistency are some of the warning signs. Abdominal pain, unintentional weight loss are some of the things that we should be attuned to to make sure we don't get that. Absolutely. So while colorectal cancer has steadily decreased the last few decades, that's not the case with people under 55. So why is that? Yeah, we're really seeing an alarming increase in, in incidence in colon cancer in those younger populations. And we're not quite sure why we think it is diet and activity level related. Um, but, you know, where we used to consider hemorrhoids, irritable bowel syndrome as diagnoses for those symptoms, we're now seeing it even in 30 year olds and 40 year olds. So that's why it's really, really important to not ignore any symptoms that you might have. Right. And so what screenings are available to promote successful outcomes? Yeah, so there's really two main ways to approach it. The first that we all probably know about is colonoscopy, which is a structural examination of your colon with a device that requires anesthesia. And that's really the gold standard. That looks at your colon, and it can also remove any precancerous lesions at the same time. Then there's also stool-based testing. So stool-based testing is when you give a sample of your stool, and we look for microscopic blood in your stool along with other potential tumor markers or cancer cells, precancerous cells in your stool. If that test is negative, you're off the hook for one to three years. If it's positive, that requires a colonoscopy to then look further. And so with the OSF Cancer Institute now up and running, what treatments are happening there to help colorectal cancer patients? Yeah, it's very exciting to bring everything under one roof where, you know, let's suppose you do have a colonoscopy and you do have cancer, unfortunately. The Cancer Institute allows us to have everything under one roof. Your next steps being imaging, pathology, treatment, chemotherapy, radiation is all under one roof. So it's a very exciting new addition. Absolutely. So things are up and going over there, right? Just about. Just about. All right. Well, sounds great. Well, Dr. Kokar, we want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. And we'll share all of these details you heard just here over on our website, ciproud.com. Just click on the WMBD This Morning tab under News.